This is my 25,000 subscriber video, or at least I hope it is. I am currently at 24,972. This is certainly a happy occasion. The music is not all that happy, I admit. Basically, I bought a new camera and I'm trying to justify it. I brought in a fog machine. I improved a piano piece and I decided that wasn't enough, so I added some synths and uh, what, lap steel, and I don't know, I'll probably add something else because I have a problem. I've been fortunate to meet some of you in person and I get to find out how you found the channel. Uh, the Nashville tuning was a big one. The lap steel video was a big one. The video where I talked about amateurism and music brought a lot of you here. Composition videos, music licensing, sampling, of course. I feel like I've learned enough about YouTube that if I would focus on one of those specific topics, I'd probably grow this channel faster. But that sounds terrible. You can probably tell that I get bored easily. I love everything that I do, but I have this constant internal dialogue, you know, asking the question, am I doing what I need to be doing? Am I focusing on what I need to be focusing on? Because sometimes it feels like I'm trying to do 10 things, but I'm doing nothing. After talking to many of you, I've learned that I'm not alone in that I feel like I'm spread too thin because I'm having to do too many things. Now, a lot of it's of my own choosing, but I know that many of you have to balance different jobs. Maybe you're in the music business, but you're doing different types of things in the music business and you feel like you've got to know a bunch. I've talked a lot recently about this heavy weight that we have. We've got to know how to do more things than we probably needed to know 10 or 15 years ago because more is expected of us. I started this channel April 2020, so right in the beginnings of COVID. I needed something to do to keep my mind from going crazy. The world was turned upside down for so many reasons. My wife didn't call it a midlife crisis. She said I was going through an existential crisis, and looking back, I probably believe that's true. But there are a lot of ways I could have acted out that would have been much worse than starting a YouTube channel. I could have got us in huge debt. Well, I kind of did with the cameras. And although it's cool to make somewhat of a living from writing music, it can be a lonely, isolating profession. And I found that through this camera, I was able to put my thoughts out into the world and realize that my thoughts were quite similar to many of your thoughts. And maybe I was just one little step along the journey in front of you and I have information that I could share that's of value to you. I watch entirely too much YouTube, more than Netflix, HBO, Hulu combined. Every night I lay on the sofa and I fire up the Apple TV and go to the YouTube app and go to subscriptions and I check on my friends. But for everything that's wrong with social media, it allows us to connect with people from all over the world who are living a life very similar to the life that we're living. They have the same challenges, the same successes, they have to use the same gear, they gotta navigate the same changes in the industry. And when I watch these people, I feel like I know them and I'm so grateful that they take the time because I know that it takes a lot of time to make these videos and to share their perspective so that I can benefit from that. But what I want more than anything and what I get from so many people on YouTube is that when I turn off their video and I know how hard they worked, it makes me want to work hard. It makes me want to try harder. It makes me want to put more effort into it because I see somebody else. And I know that some of them are making gobs of money, but most aren't. I know what YouTube pays for certain videos, and I know what sponsors are willing to pay, but they're drawn to making videos the same way that I'm drawn to making videos. So maybe that means if they connect with me, then perhaps I connect with you in a similar way, and that when you're done watching my videos, you wanna go make something. And so that is kind of a weight on me to give you my absolute best. If I can help you figure some things out along the way and make your journey more inspiring, make it more enjoyable, then I'm here for it.